of high school sports here in California, the California Interscholastic Federation, better known as the CIF, canceled the state track meet and field for a second, second the meet for a second straight year. Uh, so we didn't get to see the best against the best. Most folks were comfortable with the decision, but the second time around, a lot of people are scratching their heads. The CIF's explanation did not little to quell the puzzlement experienced by coaches like San Diego High's Robert Dean. Coach Dean quickly appeared on KUSI to alert everyone to a grassroots movement called Let Them Run 2021. The mission statement was to somehow throw together something that feels like a state meet. And here to let us know if that was successful or not is the coach himself. And judging from that smile on Coach Dean's face, I think he has good news to report. Am I reading you correctly, sir? You are correct, Paul. And thank you all at KUSI because you jumped in at the very beginning. So we thank you for that. All right. So. The news is, and I, we're working on getting the graphic up, Coach. I apologize for not having it ready. But there is going to be something that looks, that feels like a state meet at, Ar at Arcadia. Do I have that right? Yes, at Arcadia in conjunction with VS Athletics. So well, tell us about them because they deserve a, a round of applause, do they not? Yes. Um, th we are thankful that on June 25th and 26th in Arcadia, there will be a state championship. It's not a CIF state championship, but it is a state championship where the top 40 throughout California will be invited to this particular championship. And it's very exciting that the kids will get an opportunity to compete against the best of the best in California. Yeah, but I can see the headache already is how do you determine the top 40 in, top 40 in each event or how, how's that gonna play out? Well, by their marks. Like currently, if you're top 40 already, you can register. In another week or so, the top 30 and then the top 20. So it's, it's, it's gonna narrow down to the top 40, but I think it's great because it's all based on times and marks. So and then, in. so then you don't, there'll be no judgment calls. It's, oh, no. it's what you ran and if you ran it, you're, you can, you're at least eligible to enter. Now, what is the turnout gonna be like because if it's not a state meet per se, will kids still show up? Do you think of big numbers? Oh, yes, they will because the ones that have um, made it there want to be there because there will probably still be college coaches looking and that kind of thing. So that's the, the great thing about all of this. And you, as we've talked about so many times here, you tend to run your best times when you're running against the best competition, right? Yes, and it's the end of the season, which most coaches want you to peek at. And I wanted to also say, Rudy, that on June 19th, San Diego CIF has now allowed us to have a master's meet. So this week we had division one, two, and three for the first time in history. So it would keep the numbers down. The champion, which is coming up this Saturday from each division will be one, two, one, the first place one. Right. And then the next six, then the next, next, eight times because you want to fill up nine lanes. So this is narrowing down to the wow. best of the best. All right, so that'll be a great tune up for Arcadia then. Correct, it, it, it'll be perfect because then you're culminating your local and then you go into the state. Oh, excellent. Well, that worked out very nicely. And, and I suspect that'll be, that turnout will be where, where's that gonna be run? Um, the master's meet for San Diego will be at University City High School. All right, so that you can handle that crowd right there. I mean, that's. Yeah, you should be able to do it. And what they did was they only had like 500 tickets per division this past week for the prelims, and you had to get it online, go fans. And if you didn't, you couldn't come. Uh-oh, class is out. Uh, coach, I know uh, you've become the kind of the face of this, but I assume there are a lot of coaches involved who have done some heavy lifting. And would you like to acknowledge the people that you think that are instrumental in all this? Mike Cummings, who is like the president of track and field for CIF for San Diego. Um, Coach Geiger was a part of this. Um, also Dennis Anchorman from, um, from um, Mount Carmel was very pivotal in this. Um, Chris Ruff, who was retired from Del Norte High, but he still played a great part in making sure that these track events happen. So we are so appreciative. Um, the student athletes are excited. The parents are excited. It's a win-win. 
you know, my my take on this, football coaches get all the headlines and get, get all the glory at their respective schools. Yes. But the, the commitment you have shown to your athletes is no no different than the commitment Ron Gladnick showed for his football players or Marlon Gardnera. You love your kids. You're doing this for the kids. You kind of risk your uh, neck. You put your neck out there because you, you know the political world we live in. It, you yes. know, if you're seen as being not taking COVID-19 seriously, you, you get you know, canceled or at least yelled at a little bit on social media. Uh, kudos to you, sir. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. And people that know me know that I'm about all the kids, not just San Diego High kids, because I have some great athletes as well. Um, we have about three that should make it in that top 40 meet. But it was for all the kids. And I've always been a person who stood up for right. Even when um, there were underdogs, I would stand up because I'm, I'm not caring what people think of me that don't really know me anyway. Well, Who doesn't know me, know my heart. Yeah, and I think that uh, comes across through the TV screen. Uh, you were talking about some of your kids. I can't have this conversation without bringing up Cece because I just want to know how fast her mom was that uh, that uh, she's she continues to make, break school records, does she not? Oh my God, this year, um, Charlize Cece, as we call her, she's broken San Diego State's long jump record. She's broken the 300 hurdle record, the 110 hurdle record as well. So we're very excited for this 11th grader, um, a wonderful, humble girl. Her mom is Lana Garner James, who was a four time CIF champion in the 400 for San Diego. Her dad is Charles James, who was a 24 2 long jumper on that powerful Morris high team. Yeah, so but it's in her DNA. Let's be honest, coach. The speed, the foot speed came from mom's side. It, you know, her dad was a good sprinter as well, but her mom, her mom was. Undoubtedly, <laughs> one of the best. She, she's a Hall of Famer at Tulane University. All right. So, for a, as we wrap this up, Coach, where do uh, kids, uh, if if they're eligible, where do they sign up? Well, this is all done through through CIF. Um, your marks and everything will come through them, and then they will let the, us coaches know within the next couple of days who's the qualifiers. You pretty much knew Saturday because the top nine was automatic for this week's finals. So the like CIF the is playing a role in this? The CIF is helping out? The CIF is helping out in our CIF stuff. Okay. Now the state thing is done through Coach Rich Gonzalez from Arcadia High School, and he's keeping track through athletic.net, who is top 40, who's top 30, and all that kind of stuff. Coach Dean, if this is the last time we chat this school year, thank you so much, but I suspect we'll talk one more time before you head up to all Arcadia, right. okay? Yes, yes, and I appreciate you so much and your staff. You guys are so professional and so awesome, and we couldn't do it without you. Well, we have a minor role compared to yours, sir, but we're an honor to be in your company. It's always fun to chat with you. Yes, All right. sir, thank you. Coach Dean, if you know.